the Inversnaid Hotel. The bonnie, bonnie banks of Loch Lomond are world famous and sitting proudly on the northeastern shore stands the Locks and Glens Inversnaid Hotel, complete with our own harbour and jetty. The present hotel dates from 1820 and has grown much over the years, continually adapting and finally blossoming with Locks and Glens holidays. A firm favourite with tourists for well over a hundred years, the hotel established itself as the ideal stopping off point for groups touring the Trossachs. The history of the area surrounding the Locks and Glens Inversnaid Hotel is rich in legend and folklore. Rob Roy McGregor, the romantic Scottish outlaw, was born nearby, and you can visit the cave which he is said to have used as a hideout or the nearby Arklet Falls that majestically tumble the river between Loch Arklet and Loch Lomond, right next to the hotel. Curiously, the Inversnaid Hotel found itself a target for the enemy during the Second World War. A nearby bracken fire must have confused the night bombers into thinking that they were over Glasgow as they dumped their payload over the area on the night of the 5th of May, 1940 one of which was a direct hit. Fortunately, the damage was not catastrophic and the building survived and was repaired, although the bomb craters can still be seen on the surrounding hillside. Loch Lomond has the largest surface area of any freshwater lake in Great Britain. Known as the Queen of the Scottish Lochs, Loch Lomond is both a hive of activity and a haven of peace. At times, the waterway bustles with boats and pleasure cruises, providing ample opportunities to explore this magnificent setting, while on other occasions, you can happily lose yourself in the tranquility of the area, watching the pied flycatchers and wild goats go by. A small journey across the hills will take us to Loch Catherine to travel aboard the majestic steamer Sir Walter Scott. The Locks and Glens Inversnaid Hotel is the perfect place to enjoy the breathtaking beauty of one of Scotland's most famous regions.